Welcome to Thursday. Um, I'll have to go to Facebook in a second. Uh, I thought we'd have some fun today. So um, I had posted some images. We'll look at some images. And then I asked the brand ambassadors to help me come up with different mixes that they would use to, to paint these particular things. And would love, really, really love for you all to take part as well. You don't have to draw if you don't want to draw. Mixes are really, um, are, are absolutely fine. But uh, let's just play around with what, what colors we would use and how we would play with them to come up with uh, uh, colors that might match these images. Um, so Ethel, can you show the images, please? Yes, uh, let's do a share screen for the images. Okay. We begin with this. Okay. So these are, I think these are six photos I took when I was in Namibia. And this one is at a water hole with a zebra and elephant. Um, Mark has done one of the, the zebra or zebra. And um, there's the elephant. So if you can kind of in your mind, what, what, what colors would you use to maybe um, paint that image? We can then uh, see it together. And I'll share the ones that, that uh, I came up with with Ron. And how about the next one, Ethel? And so these were three lions and they almost, we passed them because it's hard to tell from this image. It's like, well, those are so easy to see. Boy, they are not easy to see when you're in a vehicle and the grass is moving around them. They just blend in. So the idea is what would you use to be able to um, paint those lines? Which colors would you use? Okay. The next one, Ethel. And these are flamingos. These are on the coast of Namibia. Um, it's greater and lesser flamingos. And kind of to give you um, an idea, kind of what I came up with, Ron, is we would use opera pink, quinacridone pink, quinacridone rose, wisteria lamp black, and perylene maroon. And Buffy has done a beautiful one, and she's used different mm -hmm. colors that she'll end up showing you. So she did it from a different perspective, and it's really beautiful. Um, so everybody, I, I think the, the the thing to play here is everybody's going to use different colors, and, and we can all share what colors would we use. Okay, how about the next one? <laughs> and this is just to give you, you know, when I look at this, it kind of for me, maybe screens having some granulating colors or colors that would granulate, but maybe not to you. So, you know, what would you use here? And how about the next one, Ethel? This we found in the middle of the road. Um, you're not supposed to get out of your vehicle, but we got out of the vehicle just to move it off the road because it was it was probably the size of a, a soccer ball and um, didn't want him to get run over. So a tortoise, and these were petroglyphs, and there was quite a few in this one here. It's a it's a um, UNESCO site, um, and you can see the lions. You can see the below the lion is a rhino and a giraffe. You can see a wildebeest. You can see the spring bucks or impalas, um, and then the artists always sign this with their footprint. So it was like here's what you can find around this area. Um, they also had one that had um, penguins. So you knew they actually had made it all the way down to the um, to the coastline, the Orange River to the coast to see penguins. Okay, and I don't know if that one, oh, just can never get enough elephants. I, I like this one because you can see the top of his, or I think it's a him, the, the <laughs> forehead and um, how that might scream for maybe a, a granulating color. And is there another one, Ethel? Giraffe. Um, I learned about giraffes. Giraffes, the darker the color, the older they are. Um, and pretty amazing animals. But I thought um, 
that might be a good good one to be able to see what colors would would use. I see kind of maybe a buff titanium. Okay, next one. Oh, these are just these are just sunsets. I Mark asked Mark is um, from South Africa and he was asking about sunsets and. Um, Africa is one of the few places that I actually took the time to watch sunsets. Um, usually I am extremely impatient, but it was nice to have a little uh, a nighttime ritual of watching the sun the sun go down. It was it was very, very, very peaceful, very beautiful. And And the next one. I know that's a lot to keep in your mind. This is just um, the lodges on the uh, Solifle is behind these mountains is a park called Solifle, which we'll see in a minute. They have beautiful, beautiful orange dunes that when you think of uh, uh, South Africa, Namibia used to be part of South Africa. Um, it just screams the you know, southern part of the continent. Okay, the next one. And that's just another image of the sun going down. Next one. Uh, that that's the last. So somewhere there was the sand dune, right? Yeah, there was a sand dune. Okay. Okay. So I know that's probably a lot to keep in your mm -hmm. in your head. Um, I'm going to ask Mark if he would show his because I know he did a zebra, and then if Buffy would show hers. And then uh, we'd love to show yours. It could be as simple as showing, for example, I was trying to do what I would think um, the dune would look like, maybe kind of like this, and maybe the sky would be um, a cerulean, a cerulean blue. But well, let's see, Marks. Mark, let's see let's put on the spotlight. There you go. Ethel, can you? Yeah, there we go. Fantastic. And Mark, can you tell everybody what you used for your colors? What was your palette? For this one, um, I used uh, lamp black and I used lunar black and uh, Quinn Burns orange. Very simple, three colors. But uh, the lamp, I mean, the lunar black gives it a nice organic character. And uh, yeah. Very nice, very cool, awesome. Thank you. Very beautiful, Mark. Yeah, thank you. I love how the lunar black is dripping down, like kind of fading out under his face. That's cool. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> beautifully, beautifully done. And this awesome. little bit of orange is in the hands. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Thank you. And Buffy, how about you? Let's see. Sure. Hi, guys. Um, so I took on the challenge of the flamingos because I thought their beaks were just crazy. So the first thing I did was I blew it up and I wanted to identify what the colors actually are because otherwise I would just paint them pink, right? And there's actually all these other shades. There really isn't a true pink. It's it's interesting how color works. Sometimes the, what we see is based on what's around it. So I try to come up with some colors. And it still became very pink, of course. <laughs> but the colors I used for it were um, was quinacridum coral, quinacridum sienna, sepia, Haynes Gray and the Kyanite. And when I was, these were all the different colors I used as I was painting it, all the mixes from these. And then I decided if I was to do it again, this is the Quinn Coral full strength. And this is the lovely pink it makes diluted. And so I was playing with the different colors and I thought that this lunar blue here looks fantastic next to it. So if I was to do the painting again, I would use this as my background color to spice it up a little bit. <laughs> it was a fun challenge. Thank you, John. Lovely, lovely work. Thank what you. beautiful mixes. Yeah, very, very, very nice. <laughs> very nice. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay. 
And Giovanni, were you able to do any swatches or? Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'm studying little swatch of the elephant skin tone, <laughs> various gray, but I'm starting from the this selection uh, Queen Coral, Spin Green, Lavender, Wisteria, and Neutral Tint. I changed the different um, shade of gray because I changed the, the sequence from uh, the, the first step with Queen Coral and Spring Green for obtaining the uh, warm and cool skin tone. This is a little sketch of elephant your beautiful photo and beautiful animal. And for the warm. That's a very good sketch also. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for the warm skin tone, I'm starting Queen Cora, a little bit of spring green. And we What's the third color, Lila? Is it Wisteria? Thank you. And obtain this beautiful gray, little warm, but it's a little cool. That's amazing. Okay. That's amazing. Look at that's exactly the color of an elephant. I mean, and change the sequence. I starting with spring green. And green coral. Lavender. And wisteria. <clears throat> I think little red skin tone. Apply another point of lavender for more gray. And little point of neutral tint. For obtain another shade. In this photo, in the, in the John photo, for example, is the, the uh, shadows and the light. For example, I starting very fast in this case. This is why these lives are so important because in never in a million years would I have known to start with green. I would have never thought of that. I'm sure most of you would because you know you're all very experienced, but oh my goodness, that's I can't even believe it. Yeah. That's great. Thank you. You're welcome. And lavender. And obtain a very beautiful gray for the elephant skin tone in a swamp in the desert. <coughs> and after this, uh, apply the little point of neutral tint for more dark shadow and after dry obviously apply the, the shadow and when I created this uh, this gray for example oops. I restart with green red lavender And wisteria. 
with my point brush. I created on in this base, for example, the skin line of the elephant. And realize the, the tail of the skin elephant. Thanks, John, for your photo. Oh, thank you for showing us how to paint it. Very good. That's a great mix. What is yeah. the, Giovanni, what is the one in the very top left corner? This is? Yeah, what's that mix? The mix is, uh, um, is it similar, but I changed the, the sequence. I started with um, the green, but I, a little point of green. And uh, the third color, lavender, apply more. More gray. More gray, yeah. <clears throat> very nice. Thank you. It's a, it's a very interesting uh, mixing because I created the, um, the skin in the, in the light and the skin with swamp and the, the cool skin in the shadows for the elephants. Yeah, I like that granulating effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very Perfect. nice. Very, very nice, Giovanni. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. And probably you can, if you mix these colors in the palette, it will be even more appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And now I show the the photo of Leticia. Oh. <clears throat> the dune. <laughs> yeah. Super. For me, for me, I study, I study these colors. I choose the cerulean blue for the light. And if uh, I need some more dark, I can add some so, so the light genuine. For the dune, I have put, I have painted with the Monte Amiata Natural Siena. And, um, and I was thinking also to, to do with Chrome Titan and Yellow, but the dune are only with Monte Amiata Natural Siena, just light glades and a dark glades. So only different three, three, three glades. Then I, I go with the, um, uh, lower dune here, and I put the <clears throat> the goitite, the goitite. I chose the goitite, um, and and then here on the sand, I wrote the Verona gold ochre, but I added some uh, buff titanium inside. So it's buff titanium and Verona gold ochre. Then I put the, the, for the trees. Uh, there is a glaze of. Um, of buff titanium here, but also on the under under painting, and then I went to the with the cicleride. Cicleride is the medium tone. Cicleride is here. Cicleride is over here, and the darker tone is bandic brown. Mm -hmm. So these are the, the the palette, and and I also did this kind of palette, but to, and I work with it. Beautiful nice. colors, yes, beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Love that Monte Amiata that you used. I think that's how you say it. That looks so pretty. It's just standing out on your painting. Yeah, tonight. because Monte Amiata could be um, could be in, in light colors. Could be very very light and also kind of yellow. So it's a kind of yellowish and also ochre. It's very very beautiful because it changes uh, on how you, you, you put the water with the, with the Monte Amiata. It's here, just here, this is Monte Amiata. So if I, if I do this, this is the mass tone, but then the light tone is here and also very, very light. This is Monte Amiata, it's very versatile. Very, yeah. very. A beautiful color to discover. Really. Yes, yeah, so pretty. Yeah. Yes, of course. It's a natural sienna, so this is the very light natural sienna that I, I really love. 
Do you find that it's um, less granulating than some of the other yellow ochre and sienna colors? No, no, no. I I find that it's um, it granulates the same as uh, the, the the Verona ochre, and it's um, it's a medium granulate uh, granulation. So for me, Thank it's you. okay. So if I add more water, I can add more granulation. It depends, but it's, for me, it's a medium, not too much granulated. Yeah, thank you. And on the opposite, if I want to, do, to go dark, very dark with the, with the color, I go with the, my favorite, that is Ciclerite from the Primatech colors. Ciclerite is a very dark brown. That is uh, slightly lighter than uh, Van Dyck brown. So I really love it. So the image is very beautiful. And here I only catch. <laughs> For a serious painting, we refer no. to Giovanni. <laughs> no, you paint beautiful. Very nice. nice. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. And Ethel, thank you very much, Letizia. Thank you, Giovanni. Letizia, do you have, are you, do you, Ethel, do you have uh, mm -hmm. prop poles? So prop, prop poles. Pole, uh, on his ship right now. I think he's off of maybe off of Philippines. If, oh, he's on the way to Philippines. I, we have Yans. Um, let me just give me like a minute to Lord Yans. Yan Yans. And I'm going to ask. I see. Um, Ashley's painting. Ashley, are you are you trying to also paint along? <laughs> um, so I was. Can you hear me? I was trying to replicate that Giovanni's uh, gray there. His elephant gray. Oh, can we see it? That was tricky. I think I might have got it. Yeah, you did. Ethel, can you blow it up? Um, it's on spotlight. Spotlight now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 Very cool. I had to. I had to use phthalo yellow green because I don't have spring green, but it seemed to work. Yeah. yeah. Close. Very similar. Yes. Well, let's see your uh, elephant there, Ashley. Mm -hmm. I saw my little eye. <laughs> I wanted to show this. So this is from Unsplash. Okay. Oh, yeah. I see all the red tones. Yeah. You know, so cute. Yeah, yeah. So this was... Okay, sketch So I used... <laughs> I used oh. Lunar Black. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, hematite Genuine and re Transparent oh. Red Oxide. And the hematite is kind of this underpainting that I used. Uh, well, it feels like it, it yeah. feels like an elephant color. Definitely. Can we also see your giraffe, please? <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, Very nice friendly you. giraffe. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Nice job. That made me nice happy. Job. So yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Very good artist. Very good. Thank you. Awesome. I like. I like the way she has displayed the uh, cubes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We share this on our on our socials, like how Ashley uh, displays her tubes, and it got lots of I think beautiful comments. Everybody wanted to. <laughs> most of them wanting to do it this way. I have here, Jan shared this image, um, but I don't think Jan is in the room. Uh, I didn't see him. some earlier, but not now. Yeah, but we can, okay, we got this. Although not from your one of your images, John, but this is like his contribution to today's uh, session. Yeah, he did send that one from Africa. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very pretty.
How about punch? this? This pepper that you see in the background uh, behind my head over <laughs> right there. That's a uh, that's from Lauren McCracken, and that's every red that Daniel Smith has in one painting. So he did a study of peppers with every single red that we have. Wow. Yeah, it's actually very pretty. I think that reds and greens can be tricky too to paint. So that's beautiful that he was able to beautiful. get that many reds get along together. <laughs> yeah. And this one is a Stella Canfield. Nice. Yeah, it's a very fun, very fun um, painting of boats. It's just a very feeling picture. I wondered for years where where oh, the she is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Stella. Hi guys. Hi Stella. Hi Jeff. Hi. It was in my living room for years and years and years. And my new house though is 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 a house of light. It's just there's no walls. It's all glass. So I brought it to where I could see it still every day, which is my office. So, oh, that makes me very happy, John. I love looking at it. I believe I used all the Daniel Smith colors that I had on my palette for that painting. <laughs> I don't wait, no. yeah, it's really, really, really pretty. Yeah, it's it's very dark. It's hard to see it there. Ethel, were you able to get prattles? I am still searching it from the chat. It may have sent it to me through WhatsApp. This one. Need another. Okay, oh. Mark is showing something. Mark is showing something. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I thought I'd show this one. This is one I actually did for my son. Just he, he loved the Dune movies and I thought of Africa and the Dunes and everything. Um, what, what I really wanted to show was the sky. And the sky, uh, I've used these iridescent electric blue. And okay. The, the the reason why I use the iridescent electric blue for skies like this so much is because it just it just flows across the plate so well, and uh, can create such a that luminous um, kind of African sky. Well, uh, did you mix that mark with iridescent? And what's what's the the other streak inside it through the top, which is probably a different, another color? I think or it might it? be. A, I'm not too sure. Ultramarine. It could be a little bit of ultramarine, yeah. Very pretty. Yeah. Fabulous. And then the the dunes are actually um, a raw sienna with some buff titanium. Yeah. And then the and then the shadows are a bit of, bit of neutral tint. Mm -hmm. And you have some type of an orange by his hands. Yes, that's uh, uh, quite burnt orange again. I like the color. Very <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Very nice. Cool. I'm not going to take it back to his room. <laughs> I think there's so many ways to you know, just in your mind of which colors you're going to choose. It, I always like to see which combinations you're, you're using as an artist. I have to figure out how to get images to all of you um, way beforehand so you can take part. Um, I haven't worked that one out yet. Yes, for example, in my, my case, I studied the, the image and I chose, at the end, I chose the color only by the eye. And then I, I studied also with uh, digitally. So I opened the photo, Photoshop and look about the, the value of, the, of each color, uh, which was um, after it, it was translated into C-Lab. Then I went to the Silla press sheet just to see uh, which color would match with the with the L value, uh, the luminance. 
and I found that uh, some some sometimes I I matched it, sometimes not. For example, the the dark the dark tone of the tree that are very very dark and um, and digitally it says that uh, the L is very very dark like a uh, lamb black because L is uh, around three is very is too low so our syllabus is uh, until twenty four uh, as a value and so but for me for my eyes it's not too dark it's not so black tree for me. It was a really dark, dark, dark brown, but not black. So uh, what we see, what we should see in for watercolor, is only up of our eyes. So we, we can behave on, we can believe in our eyes on what we what we see, and and the digital uh, technique uh, files are only for su a support. So they can support, but we can decide on our own what to choose and what to what to paint. So it's up, it's up to the painter. Yeah. Mm. I'll certainly do. I mean, I wanted to do, but I couldn't do because I can't hold my uh, brushes. But the lines are so good. I mean, I'll, I'll be certainly doing that once I'll get rid of this, my this pen. I'm sorry, I couldn't do that. Next time, <laughs> John, you, your photos were so beautiful. I I wish I had the time to paint and not pack a house. <laughs> John, yes, Ian. Uh, what you could do, Daniel Smith has a, a Facebook uh, page. So once a week, you could put a photo up there and call it the challenge. And then uh, whoever goes and does the challenge. Well, that's a good idea. Not everybody's on Facebook, though. No. I got out of Facebook and they won't let me back in. <laughs> Or Instagram. Oh, in yeah, Instagram. Would work. You can post it both on, on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. It's just being able to grab it back so it can be shown later on. It, it's a lot easier on Facebook, isn't it? I don't know about what you can do on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, it's easy also. Uh, Could you save the, the images from, from Instagram? You can save it, but I don't know if you say can save it to, to your photos so you can use the image. Uh, well, saving, there are many ways of saving it. Uh, this is a tip now. You can do a screenshot. You may not have the high res, but enough yes, screenshot, uh, to yeah. be used as yeah. a reference. Yeah. Yes, and then a newsletter. You can also send the newsletter with photos. Yeah, that's right. An email. <clears throat> yeah, let's start the Daniel Smith uh, challenges. Hey, that that <laughs> will be fun. John has just opened it. <laughs> that's really pretty, Giovanni. Wow, a big brush, Giovanni. <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you, Ruby. <laughs> I thought you send you pratfalls. I can send it to you. Ah, uh, please. Um, I don't have. I just check on WhatsApp. It's not, no and in my uh, chat with him. Yeah, no problem. I send it right now. Okay. Thank you. I like how many colors you see, dear. Well, I like his palette. He's using it as a palette. Yeah, it's five. For the elephant five, only these five. Yeah, yeah but they, they mix nicely and they make a lot of hues. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting mixing for the elephant skin tone. Ethel, it's already in your uh, messenger. Okay. It's about 
six or seven from the bottom, just before you downloaded all the pictures. It's an elephant, and underneath he has all of the tubes that he used in one stick. Oh, okay. I got it. Thank you. There we go. Let's put it on the slide so that it's much better looking on screen. Okay. There we go. There. Mm. Wow. So is this that is full? Yeah. Yeah, he's on his ship right now. Um so can you see what colors he's using? Um yellow ochre. Ansa yellow. Yellow, yellow deep. Burgundy and yellow ochre. And yellow and deep. Black. Okay. Neutral is he? Oh, I don't know. What is it? The last two. What are the last two? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, imperial purple. No. And a green. No, the the purple color. A violet. Maybe, and then the other was a green. Imperial purple, I think. Yes. Maybe it should be. And maybe. A neutral tint or luna black or something. Yeah, neutral tint or something. But yeah, but it's on the screen. It's not recognizable. Maybe it's a top green or something it like that. It may be a green because he has green there. That's right. It may yeah. be. It's a uh, sap green. Ah. Uh, Is it sap green? It should be green, yes. Yeah, it looks like sap green, but the tube looks yeah. so dark. <laughs> what about the stick? Green. The stick could be cerulean, maybe? Cerulean. Or cobalt. Or cobalt, yeah. No, no, it's it's cerulean. Cobalt is little light. No, it's too dark for cerulean. On my screen, too dark for cerulean. Mm -hmm. But it could be. Yeah. For me, I see electric blue. Uh, mm -hmm. also, also possible, yes. Yeah, it's also right. possible, yeah. You're right, yes. What is the first color? I think electric blue. No, yeah. the next one, the tube. I cannot read and the it. next one is the burgundy yellow ochre. Ah, it's burgundy it's yellow. Burgundy, it's burgundy yellow. Yeah. 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 Ethel, is it possible to see the photograph again with the giraffe with the oh. trees behind it? Sure. The gi giraffe, let's go this way. This one? The other Our one. Yes, that one. Oh, okay. The one with the giraffes, yeah. John, what kind of trees were those? <laughs> I think those are, some of those are, are, are acacia. Acacia. And, acacia. Yes. Uh, yeah, acacia grows. There's all different types of acacia, and they grow everywhere. And there's, there's, I think there's at least one of them that is protected. You can't, you oh. can't cut it, you can't harvest it. Um, whereas the rest are are not protected. Um, wow. But they're hardy trees. By, this is by a water hole. Um, you can catch animals all day long just by by waiting at the water hole. And it's neat to see these um, giraffes because they're so huge and they, they splay their feet out to be able to drink. Mm. And they're, they're um, at high risk when they do that because they can't, they can't get back fast enough if there's yeah. a lion coming after them. Um, so they're very skittish, whereas the young ones, they walk to the pool and instantly they put out their feet and they start drinking. They have like no fear about that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, they're just beautiful animals. Are those the antelopes in the front? I think those are springbuck. There's springbuck and there's impala. And I think those are I think those are springbuck. 
that is nice to to have yeah. the perspective of how big the giraffe is, which yeah, they, they are huge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing that again. Absolutely. Okay. Let's see if anybody else is sharing their artwork. Mav is doing another landscape. Oh. <laughs> 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 you got me. <laughs> I was I was admiring the those acacia trees. I think they're really neat. They would be fun to to do a study on. So I was just trying to really quick get some of the colors that caught my eye when we were going through the slideshow. Yeah. So I saw mm -hmm. that there was like dark green, and then I saw there had yellow, kind of a yellow green, and then I saw even like a purple green in the acacias. So I'll have to look up some photos and look at them some more. You know, we probably spent one third of the time, maybe one fourth of the time, looking at all the different birds. There's just birds everywhere. They're birds we don't see here in the U.S. and they're just gorgeous. Um, they're they're everything you'd use an iridescent for because like metallic blue or their metallic purple. Um, there's some that have the big, long, almost like a, uh, a toucan kind of, uh, they're hornbills. And, and those are neat. There's just so many little bit, little and big birds everywhere. Is it true that everything has thorns? The acacias have huge thorns, huge thorns. And you wonder how the animals walk through it like it's nothing, or they eat it. I was watching rhino rhinoceros eat it, and it's like, no problem. Wow. What a wonderful trip you got to go on. Yeah, it was very nice. Yeah. Were they blooming acacia trees? No, because it was, uh, It's I believe, and Mark would know better, it's just at the... It's, it was just at the start of summer. Uh -huh. Summer was just starting. But it was really weird because there was no water for quite some time. And in the last few days, there were just mammoth showers, um, which then made everything bloom. Yeah. Belle, do you, are you doing any of the, any of the images? Uh -huh. My studio is in the other end of the house. <laughs> I, I, it would be a mess out here if I had it here. <laughs> Half of my living room. <laughs> Angela, what are you doing? I'm not painting today. Are you not? No. Today I, I just uh, got home very, very late. And I will paint something at home. I saw you looking down. I thought you were painting. No, <laughs> I'm sorry. How about you, Barbara? Are you painting? Your 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 speaker's off. <clears throat> oh, Anna yeah. is showing. A hand. I'm sorry. Oh, that video. Sorry. Uh, um, Hi. I'm not painting. I painted this morning in a in a studio class, but my, I broke my arm, so I'm like oh. wiped out for the day. <laughs> oh. 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 Wow. Oh. Well, hope for quick recovery for you. Well, I think I need surgery. I have to go to the HSS on um, Tuesday next week. Oh, <laughs> sorry to hear that, Barbara. Yeah. Anyway, luckily <clears throat> I can paint with my right hand. It's just, you know, there's a mind block. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think Anna has something to show. Yeah, Anna. Oh, yes. yeah. Hi. Hi. Yes. Can you hear me? Um, yeah. I'm. Um, I'm doing. I'm just doing a little experiments of what uh, Giovanni was doing. Can you see? Can you see me? Or yeah, we do. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Good. So I have a very. I'm traveling right now. Actually, I'm in my tent, and um, and I have a very limited. <laughs> <In> a <tent. laughs> wow. Yes. 
I'm I'm bike camping. So um, I brought my limited palette and I am um, combining. I don't have all the colors that Giovanni has actually none. So um, I am doing here. Uh, this is serpentine, uh, queen rose and cobalt blue. I need to experiment more with the quantities probably, but I, I did what he did of, of just dropping the, the color here and then and then the, the, the rose and then the cobalt. This is um, serpentine, carmine, and um, what was it? Ultramarine. And this is hooker's green, carmine, and uh, phthalo blue. Phthalo. This is still wet. So can you see it? Sorry, the light is burning. Yeah. This is my camp light. Yeah. So, so I'm just Beautiful. experimenting, but I, I really liked what Giovanni did of, of applying the colors directly to uh, the paper. And so you can still maybe see it. I'm yeah. So I I really liked what you did, Giovanni. Thank you. I agree with Buffy that this this uh, uh, demos are great to learn this kind you're of welcome, things. You're welcome. Thank you. Your sequence yes. is very cool. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. That's that's all I wanted to share. Thank you. Thank you. That was a great idea, John. That is nice. Mm -hmm. To, to do that. Nice, yeah. Anna. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. That's Thank you. one of the most unique places. I've seen cars, but not tents. That's neat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. John. Yes. Your dedication. Uh, um, uh, uh, do I believe you had a bit of time in the UK as well? I didn't, I didn't hear that. Do I understand you had a bit of time in the UK? Yeah, I spent um, I spent time in Manchester. I went from Manchester and visited one of our um, uh, distributors that was about an hour away. Um, huh? And then I went to from Manchester to um, oh, where Robin Hood is from, um, Not Not Nottinghamshire. Sheriff of Nottingham is from Nottingham, but we don't know whether Robin Hood is from Nottingham. Yeah, I went to the um, I went to the park there. It was interesting, but yeah, it was it was, so, it was uh, nice to meet with people. So I did both of those. And, and and you actually got to see a bit of England, we being warm as well. You know, I've been to England probably eighteen times, wow. maybe maybe more than that. It's very uh -huh. easy. I mean, it's very, and it, it's a good jumping off place because we go to, um, we go to the German, the Germany show every year, Creative World. So we go to uh, London, Heathrow, and then usually go out and see friends. And then from there, we go back to um, Germany. Um, and we do that when we go to Italy every year. So we've kind of been switching it up lately. We've been landing in um, Amsterdam or landing in Turkey. Um, so it's, it's just nice to see things. Would, would that company be uh, Ken Bromley? Yes, it would. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on getting some uh, um, gouache from him uh, when I get settled in my new flat. Yeah, very nice, nice, uh, nice, nice, place. <clears throat> nice place to visit. Nice people. Yeah, yeah. I, they do good business for me. I really like Manchester. Manchester was um, very... Very, it was easy to walk. The 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 um, climate you have in um, in England is very similar to what we have here in in Seattle. You know, you have the 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 foggy days. We have the foggy days. The light rain. We have the light rain. It's it's almost like you know traveling by transporter back and forth. Um, <laughs> it was beautiful when I was there. The weather was beautiful. It was great walking weather. Um, I really liked it. And after about you know three or four days you get used to because I was coming back from South Africa, which also drives on the wrong side of the road. Um, I had my, uh, my, <laughs> my, my 40 days of driving differently. And I only got, I only scared one bus driver and one poor person by going on the wrong side for a second. But they, were, they, were very, they must have known I was a tourist. They were very polite. You know, they, they gave me the wave, like, you know, get over to the other side, other side, other side. <laughs> but other than that, it was pretty good, I think. 
It's always uh, an eye. But you had a car. You had a car in England. <laughs> yeah, I had a car in England. I had a car in South Africa. Oh. I also did it in uh, Australia. I can't remember. Aust I thought, yeah, Aust I, know, I can't remember. I know New Zealand's on the wrong side. I can't remember about Australia. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Yes. It is. Yeah. 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 I learned to drive in Australia. Yeah. The roundabouts were in England always the most difficult thing. Otherwise, I stayed on the right side. <laughs> but the roundabouts, I had to go three, four times until I get out of there. We we have uh, we just started putting roundabouts here in Washington, and they are they are pretty terrific. I think we have more accidents when there's four stop signs than you do when there's a roundabout. Yes, yes. yeah. That's Sedona has a lot too. Yeah, yeah, I, I just would not know what to do. You know, in America, you've got those squares. Yeah, four stop signs. How, how, do, how do you deal with that? Uh, <laughs> first one who's, who go, first one who stops goes, and then you always yield to the right if it's a tie. All right. <laughs> just, just, hope really just hope everybody else knows that. Unless you're, unless you're driving Seriously. a very expensive car. Four people at a stop sign and the most expensive car goes first on Mercer Island. <laughs> just for attitude. <laughs> I would buy you never argue with the biggest vehicle. But that is how they tamed the Italian drivers with the roundabouts and because they have to slow down. Bugatti Veyron coming through. <laughs> hey, Buffy, I see that you're using are you using titanium white? Uh, uh, this this one is the pearlescent white. Pearlescent white. Mm -hmm. Oh, pearlescent oh. white. Yeah, just playing with all the different colors. I like the sticks though because when you lay your painting down, if it's super neutral, then you could add these color pops. Like this is the electric blue. Mm -hmm. This is the lavender with the imperial purple. <laughs> this is the what is it? The spring green. So you could add like little pops. And because they're so pigmented compared to our paints. So I think that's really a cool effect, kind of giving like a quick, very abstract. <laughs> um, um, very nice. What would you say? Representation of some of the colors I saw in your slideshow. Yeah. That's cool. cool. I, like your, I like your stick holder. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say that. Yeah, yeah a little, oh. little lipstick holder. <laughs> Is it a lipstick holder? Wow. Yeah, it's an acrylic lipstick holder. I found them on Amazon. I don't remember. One of, someone who was on our Zooms had these, and then they had these guys for the, um, the tubes. Wow. And so, of course, I went and started adding to my shopping cart. That happens a lot on these demos. <laughs> Is this also a lipstick holder? I think so, yeah. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think Bellman has something like that. Yeah, was it Bell? Yeah. Bell. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so when I saw her organization, I thought, oh, that's great. I have to do it. Really good idea. And, and how, uh, there was a question in Facebook about how the, I cannot remember the painter who showed us the nice giraffe, uh, she, how she helped, how she was- Ashley. Her, Ashley, yes. Ashley Fox. Yes. How, she, how was she hanging her tubes? <laughs> oh, that's the big question. <laughs> yeah. It's seriously, if I you want to show it, crow. okay. I think we it's a just crow. a board with nails, honestly. Uh, it's so simple. Nails, and then how do you clip? These are like, like they're little binder clips. Ah, uh, okay. That's the really size, the tiny, tiny ones. ones. Oh, you yeah. can use any size, but this was a happy accident. I didn't mean to buy them this small, but it worked out really well. And then I just flipped the front down. Boop. <laughs> yes, and then you hang them from the nail. Yeah, easy. That's clever. Very. Not just a technical thing. With regard to that, um, 
is is the uh, tube made? What is the tube made of? Is it is it a, a metal that could be connect uh, could be uh, magnetic? No, the tube is extruded aluminum. All right. Well, because you can get strips, can't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I also have uh, I have sticks on here too. I just <laughs> taped a string to the back. Well. Uh -huh. So I've got my stick that I can grab anytime. Mm. And behind, how did you, what did you put behind? The Just a string. Part? A string. Yeah. <laughs> Very, Very cool. John, yes. John, Ashley's gonna, actually, Ashley will be a guest. One of our first guests for July. The first Friday oh, of Ashley. July. Yeah. Mm, excellent. Awesome. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm excited. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. So everybody can look. That's going to be Ashley, and Ashley's going to be in July. <laughs> the first Friday of right. July. Oh, excellent. Can't wait. So Ashley, everybody, you know thank, oh, you for, thank you for being on today. Um, thank you for, you're such a phenomenal and friendly group. I think I think you have seen over the years um people love to see what you're doing and how you're doing it to share ideas um so i would really uh just let you know never to be afraid of showing your artwork i think it's almost like showing it to a, a lot of friends who really always have your best interest at mind and kind of want to see other ideas i mean even ideas about how to hang tubes <laughs> it, uh, it's great to see. <laughs> So with that, I want to say thank you to all of you. Thank you for joining today. I hope you can make it till tomorrow. Thank you. The in studio thank artists. You, John. Thank, thank you. Everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. See you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B